Embrace Yourself. This morning, we are diving into trendy and timely topics as we go inside the man's mind. So let's turn to our two wonderful guys, Will wonderful. Gilbert and Freddie <laughs> oh, Kirby. They'll be right out. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. We are ready to jump right in. I love hearing your thoughts on topics like these. Uh, first of which, we're talking movies. Mm -hmm. And 90% of theater watchers rated the overall movie experience as excellent. However, a lot of folks just prefer the comfort of their own home when it comes to watching a movie. I know we were talking yesterday about Star Wars. So whether it is, when it is a big movie like that, do you guys still like to go to the theater and experience it that way? Yeah, I think there's certain movies. There's certain movies that need to be seen mm -hmm. on the big screen with the rumble, with the crowd okay. who's really been following it along. If you're going to see a Star Wars, if you're going to see an Avengers or something mm -hmm. like that, or I think, a spooky movie, or scary movie too. Yeah. I think part of the fun is being there with a crowd. If it's a scary movie, screaming at the same time. <laughs> waiting for something to happen with you at the same time and just the rumble of either the music or the special effects Wait that are happening. When's the last time you watched a movie with a crowd? He gets the whole theater to himself with these special screenings. <laughs> 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 That's true. I'm only kidding. That's true. But like when I have, well, I'm trying to think. What the last See? <laughs> Busted. Okay. I'm actually trying to think when it was the last time I've actually sat in a movie theater with like a bunch of other people. But it is that ambience, the, the surround sound that you're talking yes, about. That's Maybe what I'm really 3D doing. glasses yeah. too, depending yeah. on right. the movie. Especially if you all can laugh together, like right. all joking aside, if something's really funny or if, or if there's that big moment of, oh man, like that was awesome. Seeing it on the big screen, yeah. letting that experience kind of take you in and you can just immerse yourself in right. the film. I think that's the way movies are sure. meant to be experienced. Mm -hmm. Now, however, we've talked about many times the joy the, of the, that splendid isolation of just being alone, watching a movie yeah, in too. your home and just enjoying it on right. the TV. Right. Where you could pause or rewind. Where you can pause or rewind know. and go back again. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you miss something. Remember right. like the Seinfeld? He's like, I never know what happened in the movie. Yeah. You know, was he with them? I didn't know he was with and, them. And but we, you can rewind at home. And we've gone to some like movies where there weren't many people there. And, right. and I think you, you almost lose something. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. Yeah. We still sat right next to well, each other. He's <laughs> trying to make it sound better. No, you know, it's not quite the same. It's uh, actually fantastic. Movie. It's great. I, you've been kind enough to take me, and it's really cool. We touched upon the fact that some of those movies are scary, right. and it's those jump moments, which brings up Halloween, and I know that's yes. coming up. A lot of people, you know, love Halloween movies mm -hmm. or, or scary movies. Are there some, maybe even decades ago yes. that you just say it's a classic yes. for, for October. Yes. I love the original Halloween. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The original Halloween was on just a couple of weeks ago. I think it may have been on AMC has, a, yeah. you know, the 75 Nights of Halloween or whatever it is. 75. <laughs> and, and they played a Halloween movie. They've been playing them since February. Um, right. and, and I love the original Halloween. Yeah. I love the original Exorcist. Exorcist is great. And um, I'm trying to think what the other ones were, are that I really like. But those, I like the older ones more so than the new ones. Mm. Yeah. I think even just it being that grainy film kind of brings that extra creepiness the dark to it. shadows. Yes. You yeah. never know who's lurking. Yeah. Especially if there's some psychological element. Right. Like, okay. I mean, like it, the slasher films, I, I get why people yeah. like those. Like, it's fun. Well, fun, but it's just like you can take yourself away and like, oh, that's really scary. But right. mm -hmm. I like the things that pop up that like, oh, maybe that could actually happen to somebody. It makes right. it extra scary when really it seems freaky. rooted yeah. in some type of realism, I mm -hmm. think. You know which is really good? The Omen. Have you ever watched The Omen? The Omen no, is a really, that's a real good one. Classic and horror. It, it's a classic horror movie, yep. and it does because it was shot back in. The, it may have been the, the real early '70s. Has that graininess to it, that darkness to it. To re, that's a good one. Yeah. There's nothing like watching a movie and and being on edge, going, "I know something's gonna pop out. I know something's gonna pop out," and and almost waiting for the scare to happen. Now, okay. Now I was watching Halloween just a couple of nights ago, and there is a, a, a like a bush outside the window of my house. Honestly, God. <laughs> and it was it was kind of windy outside, and I'm sitting there watching it by myself, and I could see like so. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I'm like freaking out when this is happening. Yes. I'm like going up and going, close them. All right. Just, you know, I know it's the book, just but I just want to make sure. Maybe those four eyes will be I back just looking at sure. you. It's Michaela and me out there with the fan. It's like the yeah. Holland bush. Yeah, but I'm sure you wouldn't find sure. Brendan out there because chances are there'd be a spider. Oh, yes. they're just gross, and vile I, creatures. But I know you would you say that's one of your biggest fears? I guess so, but I'm, not, I'm just not a fan. I think they're gross. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they're just gross. gross. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm not a big fan. Like, if I see one, I'll... Actually, mm -hmm. I've been trying to be more humane and put them outside. Right. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'd rather not. Look. So, for, uh, that's really nice for people at home that have a fear of this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Would you like to look at the no, monitor right now? I'm all set. No? Okay. <laughs> well, what would you say is your biggest fear? I would say for me, I'm not really like spiders are fine with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say it's, oh, it's, it's oh, the whole clown. It's oh, the whole, oh, stop it. I would say it's the whole clown thing. I would say clowns are really creepy. Okay. Yeah. You don't like and it's, them. And it's not even, it's like the... Like the older video of clowns, and I was telling Emily, who's, you know, she's she's much who works on the show. She's much younger. It was that old growing up as a kid, and there was the John Wayne Gacy. He was like this this killer, and yes. that's what he would do. He would dress up as a clown, mm -hmm. and I think that stuck with me for the just rest of my life. One to ruin it, just it takes, for all the other clowns. All the other, look, I'm sure there's a lot of nice clowns out there. And but now you wear makeup for a living. Right. Well, yes, I do. It doesn't help, but I do. But Halloween's uh, great. I think if you can yeah. have some fun, just mm -hmm. enjoy it, and just eat a lot of candy, right? Oh, well, that's my thing. All right. And bring out the spiders. Yeah, I'll see you. I'm out of here. Thanks for chiming in. Bye, Brendan. <laughs>